Now, what's better than a Saturday afternoon in eastern Kentucky, especially one as historic as today's? Moorhead State hosting in-state rival Murray State for the final time as conference opponents as Murray heads to the v Missouri Valley next year. The two schools have met 176 times before Saturday, and the 177th matchup might have been their best one yet. This game was back and forth the whole way, and we're going to jump right into the thick of it. After Murray went on a late run to tie the game up, Tevin Brown would take it to the cup and get it to fall, giving Murray a two-point lead with less than 20 seconds in the game. The Eagles would get a chance to tie the game at the end and could not have asked for a better look, but it just wasn't meant to be. The Murray State Racers close out the OVC chapter of this storied in-state rivalry on top of the Golden Eagles, 57-53. From the game. Now you may remember this game from 2016 as the one Coach Cal got thrown out of in less time than it takes to microwave a hot pocket. Little did UK fans know, this would be the last Kentucky victory they'd get to see in South Carolina for quite some time. The last one until Tuesday night at least. After a tight and physical first half, the game was even at 43 all, right around the 16 minute mark. From there, UK went on a 17-6 run and never really looked back. Nestled deep in the bluegrass region of America, you can find a scenic rural city named Versailles, Kentucky. Now you could have heard of Versailles before, possibly as the hometown of country star Sturgill Simpson, or maybe you learned about Versailles being one of the rare cities that was actually occupied by both Confederate and Union forces in the Civil War. Or you could just know it as the town that has no idea how to pronounce its own name. Well, this Saturday at the Belmont, Justify will be looking to add Triple Crown winner to the city's illustrious resume. A few weeks ago, the Colt held off multiple contenders at a mud-filled Pimlico to win the Preakness by a half a length. This weekend, it'll be the Belmont Stakes for Justify, where he will be trying to become only the 13th horse ever to complete the Triple Crown. The sheer speed at which college football gossip travels would easily rival that of the hallways of North Shore High School. The last few weeks, rumors of LSU, Oklahoma, even Notre Dame have left UK head coach Mark Stoops doing his best Gretchen Wieners impression. I can't help it that I'm popular. Right now, Stoops sits only two games behind Bear Bryant for the most wins in school history. Given last night's announcement, I say Stoops should be able to fetch that mark sometime around early next September. Kentucky and Stoops agreed on a contract extension just a few short days after drowning Louisville by 30. In 1999, The Matrix was released in theaters, crushing box offices on its way to multiple Academy Awards and international phenomena. The story follows a crew of misfit soldiers trying to protect the last human city on planet Earth. But in the movie, this is more than just a city. It's a belief. It's the soul and center of the people that provided power, protection, and a hope for a better tomorrow. In the movie, they call this place Zion. After being sidelined for the first 44 games of his rookie season, Williamson made his debut last night in front of an eager New Orleans crowd. In his first professional appearance, the former Blue Devil did not disappoint. The Smoothie King Center was an electric factory in the fourth quarter when Zion exploded for 17 straight points, going 4 for 4 from behind the arc and showing off that already legendary athleticism, the 19-year-old put the entire league on notice in less than 19 minutes played. Williamson was on a minutes restriction and would be taken out of the game with around six minutes left in the fourth, ending his magical run. But chance of We Want Zion flooded the remainder of the game. He left his team with a one-point lead that they would later concede to San Antonio. But that didn't matter because the bigger picture won last night in the Crescent City and Pelican fans are finally left to rejoice in their very own promised land. 